All right, so we are going to jump into Pisces energy for this week. Now, if you find the message is helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Pisces, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy here for this week. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. What do my Piscean friends need to know? Please and thank you. Two of Pentacles. Decisions. Decisions. So for Monday, Page of Wands. Tuesday, Queen of Cups. Wednesday, Knight of Wands. Thursday, Ace of Swords. Friday is the Lovers. Saturday is the Nine of Cups. Sunday is the Seven of Wands. Pisces. There's a situation here in which you feel an intense connection with a particular person in your life, but you're unsure if this person feels the same way about you. And I feel like maybe in the past or maybe currently in this relationship, you've been hurt, but I feel like this is definitely more past like in your past, in the past relationship, you were wronged. You were done wrong, okay? A person portrayed as if they were ready, they wanted to have a relationship with you, and then they pulled the rug right from out from under your feet. And maybe chose another person. And maybe you felt an intense connection with this past person as well, Pisces, and that's why you're questioning this one. We see the lovers present, so I do feel like there is an intense connection here. But you have to get clear on the position that you are going to be giving this person in your life. And are you ready for this? So for Monday, we have the Page of Wands. This is like proceeding with caution. This is like paying attention to all the signs, the synchronicities. This could also be trying to find something. And what... Everybody always says is if you're trying to find something, you will. You'll find it. Even if it's not there, there will be something that you will find that will be in alignment with what you're fearing. So if everything is going good, if everything is perfect, don't rock the boat. I do feel like this person has your back. The person that's coming through in this reading brings a lot of happiness. Um, I feel like there is an intense connection here between you and this person. I just feel here, Pisces, as if you're questioning how they truly feel. And if you do wonder, like, how this person is feeling about me, I mean, you can get a tarot reading, yeah, but why not just ask them? Why not just ask them how they feel, what they want, where they see this headed? What are their intentions here, right? I think that's come up in a reading from your recent past, Pisces. What is their true intentions with you? Okay. I definitely feel here, Pisces, in the past you've gone through some turmoil. I'm not saying that this person is like the people from your past. In fact, I believe this person is completely different. Now it's going to resonate how it will with those of you who it is resonating. But I do feel like you feel a lot of happiness, a lot of joy with this person. Now in the past, I feel like you've gone through the same cycle with somebody else. But I feel like this person is different. Now, if you don't feel like this person is different and they're similar to the past, then what are they reflecting back to you that you need to learn about yourself?
it's almost as if you're trying to find something wrong here with the relationship. And to me, that's like a person who may be trying to sabotage a connection that is real. Okay. I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you. But I feel here, Pisces, you're kind of overthinking, like, are they lying? Are they being deceptive? You're always trying to find something wrong. And eventually, if you keep looking, you're going to find it. So what I would recommend here, Pisces, is if you want this connection to work, focus on the things that are going right. Focus on the things that are going right. Because as we see, the advice here, Pisces, is if you, if you keep questioning this connection, it's going to start becoming non-interesting. It's going to start becoming difficult. It's going to start becoming resistant. And if you feel like this person is betraying or being deceptive or manipulative, then take a step back to analyze that. You should not be entertaining somebody's BS. It doesn't matter how intense the connection is. I definitely feel like this is sabotage. This is self-sabotage. Okay, this is you. This is a person who has your back. This is a person who has your best interest at heart. And this is you questioning, overanalyzing, and eventually this becoming too much for you and walking away. Now, you can nip this in the bud, Pisces, by trying to change your perspective on instead of what's going wrong, focus on what's going right. But that's up to you. Asking this person how they truly feel and what their intentions are instead of questioning and overanalyzing. But it's up to you. You have to make the determination for yourself. What I see coming out here, Pisces, is there may be a situation here in which this is a connection that you're not ready for. Because I feel here you're still healing from a broken heart. Four of swords, three of swords. This may cause you to sabotage this connection. This person who does like you. But are you really ready for this? And and just be honest with yourself, Pisces. If you're not ready, the thought of you getting married again starts giving you anxiety. That's something that you need to be aware of for sure so you can address that. But also needs to be expressed to this person who kind of has their heart set on this. I definitely feel here, and I'm not trying to laugh because this is a serious matter, but I feel here, Pisces, that there really is no reason to question this connection. And in doing so, it's almost like a self-sabotory energy. But there's lessons to be learned in all of that, so just trust the process here. If you really want it to work with this person instead of questioning and overanalyzing, communication is the key. Pull a full truth message to sum up the reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For liking, subscribing, sharing the content. So when was the last time I couldn't stop laughing? If you're interested in a personal reading, the information on how to schedule is all below in the description box. And if you're still here, you're finding the messages helpful. Let's give it a butterfly emoji for transformation, Pisces. Going back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants or did. Feel the laughter grow in your body and cheeks. Hurting. Eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy a little. Note to self, laugh more often. Today's soul action makes somebody laugh, including yourself. Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for the weekly readings. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.